guys, part two of uh, the alt rock mixing uh, um, Beth Ogden song. Let me shut this down. And it, that was my first time ever like doing a mixing thing and trying to explain it as I go. It was a little challenging yesterday, and I watched it today, and I was like, all right, I kind of figured out like what I got to do. So I think the key is to to say what you're going to say, then just do it. It's hard to talk and mix at the same time because of when I talk, you have to open up the, the camera mic. So anyway, here we go. I want to first just listen to this a little bit, see where I'm at. And uh, yeah, so if you watched part one, you know we kind of spent about 45 minutes and we got a little little mix going on and, and overcame a few little issues. So let's continue on. Radio man, why'd you play that song? Coffee shop lovers, why'd you kiss so long? Train, why'd you bring those memories back? I'm going to try thickening up the snare just a little bit. Um, somebody had commented and said, oh man, maybe a little more meat on the snare. But I don't know, maybe they only watched the first part because the beginning was real whack whack because I hadn't really gotten the samples going yet. Let's see. Radio man, why'd you play that song? Coffee shop lovers, why'd you kiss so long? Shop lovers, why'd you kiss so long? I'm trying to create this kind of groove of it against her singing behind the beat. So the whole feel of this is like this. Radio man, why'd you play that song? Coffee shop lovers, why'd you kiss so long? Shop lovers, why'd you kiss so long? This is a great plug-in, uh, this uh, Neve, or a UAD to Neve 31102 uh, for snare, that, that 220, this is kind of the Shep's thing. Radio man, why'd you play that song? Coffee shop lovers, why'd you kiss so long? and the bass are so static it's like dung 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 it's almost like a David Bowie kind of track like blah, 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 like a weird kind of staticness like a like a, a ver, uh, let me show you the fan off in here it's almost like a non it's like a staticky non-moving kind of feel so I want those drums to really give me a nice kind of motion against her singing like behind the beat man, why'd you play that song? Coffee shop lovers, why'd you kiss so long? Train, why'd you bring those memories back? Of making love to the sound of those rusty tracks.
careful sometimes when you're mixing hybrid because things don't visually line up. Oh shoot! Because uh, because um, there's like a delay with the, the hardware and the and the way it prints. stuff maybe some echo throws but I'm gonna wait and kind of get the arrangement like as far as levels first it's hard to tell you know that's cool in a way like the volume the, the vocal gets louder right at that hook part I guess it's I don't know it's a matter of taste back quickly between first and second verse to kind of see where we're at as far as like levels oh, coffee shop love
Hey. 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 My mom's here. Say hey, mom. try bringing back Voc 3 here which probably is right here yeah look at that see Voc 3 sub I'm gonna show and make uh, active so there's my Voc 3 back in action I'm going to set up a uh, I'm just gonna call this VBR Voc bridge and um, I'm gonna put this right here for this purpose I'm going to grab these two in grid mode and I am going to slide them down. Okay, and we're going to take this and we're going to bring this out. Oh, Voke 3. We're going to move this here. And let's give it a little color because, man, that gray is just killing me. We'll give it a little green action. So the bridge will be green. Okay, cool. Um, let's bring this in. We'll go Vogue 3 and we'll drag over some of this. We'll just drag over onto Vogue 3 the, uh, the settings of EQ, the DSer, the little tapping compressor, just a little bit, really nothing. You can kind of almost do it. There you go. You know what I'll do? I'll just move over everything from and there's probably an easier way to do this I know but it's like you should just do command shift W command shift V command shift do you do this do that stand over here go there wear this put on that hat and you'll be good okay uh, but now it's basically just a duplicate and solo safe and let's see coming in because I want to give this thing a little bit I don't know what I want to Clark's an Aussie thing. Did I screw that one up? No, I didn't. Okay.
I know. You gotta get that going on. That's Were you saying something, Mom? James. What'd you say? That's very nice. Isn't that she's cool? Like, she's great, yeah, man. This is this is my buddy Beth Ogden, man. She's she's huge, man. She's gonna she's really doing well. Let's kind of see where we're at. Hey, it's getting there. Facebook. You may want to turn it down. It sounds like it's distorting a little bit. It is. I'm kind of getting crazy. I backed. I actually backed off the uh, the, the input or the I guess the res, whatever you call it the the, the not the print track, the mix return track. Not really like how I, how I like to do it, but it's kind of like weird. Like I'm I'm going through so many changes with my mixing. It's like every mix is kind of this new journey for me. So I'm kind of figuring out. Radio man, why'd you play that song? Coffee shop lovers, why'd you kiss so long? 3M train, why'd you bring those memories back? Of making love to the sound of those rusty trails. Sounding nice. Let's let's loop a little bit of this hook and let's have a little fun with uh, with, um, with some bus compressors. Hey, let's have a party. So let's take a we'll move Mr. Magola down here. We'll move Mr. VSC down here. Let's uh, let's listen to this a second.
go to just the old uh, Waves SSL comp. I've got a similar setting. Lugo Hybrid. This is pretty close. This is the other one I kind of like. So let's uh, let's get rid of this. Oh yeah, oh there it is. We are right. I think this is similar to. Maybe because I've also mixed into it, it, it just seems to have a little. It's like a little bit more like er sounding. Er, we're gonna go for the er right now. So we're back with VSC on the bus. Let's get rid of these limiters. No limit. here for a second. I'll have to cut this out of the YouTube video. Sounds pretty dang good, man. It's a little like kind of woollier and not woollier but bigger and more a little more booty than that 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 track. I really like that mix. It's it's a it's just a leaner mix. But I kinda like this for this tempo. I want it to feel a little more kind of like, I don't know if I'd say warmer, but just more like a little more, not as like, not as sliced and diced, maybe, I don't know. All right, let's make that inactive. All right, so, yeah, so there you go. So we got, we got a little something, something going on now. Save where I'm at. We're going to do a little automation. Let's see, what do we want to do? We'll probably just do a little echo throw. I don't think I'm going to, so I'm going to move this down here. So bear with me, guys. We're going to keep keep doing this. I don't know how this is going to work. We'll see if this works like this. Okay, I see ya. It's all it's all new to me, mom. Well, I've never I've never like I've never like videoed mixing before like this really. This is like super like 
Beth's got a beautiful home. Yeah, yeah, that's my bro. Well, you hung with Beth. You know Beth Ogden. Beth Ogden. So let's see if we can keep this going. So there's kind of, all right, so now you're seeing, uh, now you're going to see, you're not going to see in Facebook because, well, you know, we'll make it so Facebook can see it too. Everybody can be a part of the party. So that's going to be the camp too. You know, that's going to be the YouTube video on the camera. And then here's Facebook. And you'll just, it's not really much of anything to see, but there's my little baby Huey. People are like, write the song? you got, yeah. All right, so this is, this is ready, right? Okay, so now you can see me. Okay, cool. All right, we're going to just keep rolling. Um, let's try some echo throws. So the way I set this up, is um I hear them kind of I think I hear them right here. This would be the, the quarter throw. I put the throw I put basically on the vocals instead of it going to right to the here's the quarter which is the uh which is the uh um, 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 um the PCM forty two instead of it just going straight to quarter you'll see on the vocals it goes to the, it's got this QT quarter throw, and then it goes to this throw here, which then it's, it's it comes in from the quarter throw, then it sends out to quarter, which is here. So then, basically, that's how you get to your PCM42, so that I can go like this and scroll into view, right? Okay, yeah, and I can um, write automation. So this would be, yeah, let's just uh, take a little something from the top. Radio man, why, 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 you gotta always test it, right? All right, cool. So you guys can see it. Radio man, why to play that song? Coffee shop lovers, why to kiss so long? So I don't want to throw at the beginning in those gaps because I want to start the story. I don't want it to turn into like, hey, the mixing's funny or cool or, you know, this isn't about me. This is about her. This is really the first time I'm using the Baby Huey. I had one for years and I loved it, and then I got rid of it and got the the other one, whatever the artist mix. So, but it's. Shop lovers, why you kiss so long? 3M train, why you bring those memories back? Of making love to the sound of those rusty tracks. Thought that I swore that I was over your head. Oh. Wait a second. What did I just do? Did I just mess this uh, redo? Yeah, let's get out of this. Just give me a second. Because remember, I have different tracks now.
I can kind of get a vibe going and kind of deal with the output and the and the and the 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 send off the the but the sub and get you know, get this the way I want.
pulling pulling the echoes down in these little silent spots. Beautiful stranger, why'd you wear that cologne? Sidewalk flower, man, no, I don't want a rose. Preacher, man, why don't God take this hurt? Yeah. If I don't God take this hurt? Yeah. kind of mixing being hybrid you can't use your eyes you really have to just totally use your ears because everything is out of time visually well, anyway so that gives you a little bit we went through some some automation uh, some throws fattened up that snare a little bit kind of worked on the back end added another sub for the uh, for the um, the bridge part to give it a little bit of its own sound went through bus compressors ended up just kind of staying with this I, I gave it a like hit a little bit more threshold but and I also turned down my mix return again mix is starting to get a little loud I'm getting better at it you know it's just I don't know man I always want more and more and more loud 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 my buddy Ryan Williams his name is Louder Rock and his phrase is Everything louder than everything else. Anyway, there it is. Uh, so then at this point, what I would do is save where I'm at so there's no drama. And I would print out. And the way the print, and this isn't really quite done, but this is, this is it for now. You guys got it. I did VCA automation also. Um, print track is here. And it is called Radio Man dash Mix One dash Twenty Four Bit, and then I would print, which it's really not Mix One; it's kind of Mix Two because we were futzing around with this thing a few weeks ago and with another template, so it's technically Mix Two. Yeah, we'll just call it Mix Two, right? There shouldn't be anything below it. Yeah, that's it. And then you would just basically print it at that point, and it would just, you know, you'd see you print this. And then when it was all printed, what I would do is is uh, do a little crossfade at the top and the bottom. So I've got my print of this from top to bottom. I clip off whatever I don't want. I crossfade out. If there's any noise in the mix, just like get it really nice and clean. Then I would come and I would consolidate the track. And then I would do two exports. One would be, let me get my readers, because I, I know what it feels like. I don't know. If one would be shift, I guess that's shift apple K, which is exporting. I would highlight the region, and that would be, um, where is exporting? I don't even know anymore. I just use the thing. But apple shift K, I would export it, and then that, that track would then be exported to a folder that's called 24-bit uh, for mastering. There would be no limiter on that because it would just be the exported, you know, file. And then when that exported, I would then do um, option Apple B would be then a bounce to disk. And then I would I would bounce that out into a separate folder for 16-bit and MP3s. And I would do a 16-bit wave, a 1644 wave, and you get the check mark for the MP3. And I would do it offline, put it in the folder. And you have to have all these tracks at that point have to be out of like record and I, and I mode. And then I would just have the track Apple Shift B or uh, Option Shift Option App Option Apple B. And then I would export those. Then I would always go into those folders and just play a second of them, make sure everything's good. The the 24 bit for mastering should be probably anywhere from 70 to 120 megabytes. The 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 wave should be around 40, the MP3 should be around 11 or 10 or 12 or something like that. Um, just double check them, make sure we're good. And then, uh, you know, send them out. I, I try to send mine out to the client. I try to send the wave if I can, you know, so they hear it as good as they can. But a lot of people are like 
listening to it all, just on their phones and they can't like receive a we transfer or something they just want to attach the email but that's it and then I always when I'm done at, with all that I do command shift B command shift U I remove any unused then I always go back into I mode and I just drop the needle make sure that everything's alive and then I save it and then I've got a little recall sheet here all that I really recall is the milliseconds on my PCM 42 which is 750 that's for quarter notes the rest of it is always the same I never change anything I, I really just change how it hits it so if I want more 1176 I can hit the, the track with the with the vocal on it or I can hit the sub more if I want less I can back them off and then hit the 1176 and the Fairchild return more whatever and there it is everything is standard all this stuff doesn't really matter punch tank Cosmo this is all just the harder you hit it the more you get of it and PCM the uh, even tide I always um, always run 508 on it the split harmonizer and uh, that's it back it up and you're done that's kind of uh, a little walkthrough on a mix and uh, back everything up open up a little Beth Ogden grab a radio man throw it in the garbage I always back up from left to right always verify date time and then I'll always look in the garbage make sure that it is from yesterday and I won't empty the garbage I'll usually let it sit for you know a, a, a day or so, a half an hour anything just let it finish the whole cycle before I start getting jiggy so there you have it what'd you think of that mom let's get the let's get there it's pretty cool huh yeah isn't she great and now who is that that's Beth Ogden that's um you know Beth with the curly hair she's been like my voice student for like two almost a year and a half since I've been here Okay. She was one of my first clients. I think when I was here, and we went out someplace to see some Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Well, yeah, you went with us to see her and Stacia and all of them. Yeah. All right. Anyway, there you go, everybody. I wish you luck. I wish you luck. Little baby Huey. Well, that's my first round. Some basic mixing. We'll do something next. Maybe we'll do a country song when Rob comes out or metal or something. Yeah, she had a beautiful country voice.